All right, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Yahawashai shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. I want to start off by giving all praises. Let me say Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Call Halal La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Double honors to my apostles and elders here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right. Shalom. I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just here with a quick, quick lesson. Lord willing, our prayers edifying. Uh, you brothers and you few sisters, y'all know the lesson, y'all know the scriptures. So I'm here just to, uh, you know, sing a song and um, continue to uh, remind you that Yahweh Shai is on his way. You know, another day on the watchtower. And um, every day we're, we're looking forward to the Lord fulfilling prophecy. So, you know, I want to. Um, speak on uh, a few precepts well a few verses in acts because yesterday's lesson i remember i went over luke 21 and a few verses and it was speaking on how yahweh shai is going to return so i want to continue on that because we are in those we are in that time all right I, I really strongly believe we are in that time frame all right because look what's going on in the world you know look what um look what you know, look what, at the wickedness, the, the levels of wickedness today. You know, it's only right that the Lord regulate, you know, this wickedness. You know, this has to be the end because look at the times. You know, uh, I think a second address nine, it says, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So we supposed to measure prophecy, you know, and without a shadow of doubt, this is it, yo, this is it. Okay. So anyway, let's start at verse one. Acts 1 and 1, the former treaties have I made, O Theodos, of all that Yahweh Shai began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he through the Holy Spirit have given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days and speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of the most high so when Yahweh Shai resurrect the third you know on that third day he went back and he stood with the apostles he stood with his for his men right all right let me bring this quick precept out this is the book of first corinthians chapter 15 and 1 moreover brethren i declare unto you the gospel which i preach unto you which also ye have received and wherein you stand by which also ye are saved if you keep in memory what i preach unto you unless you be believe unless you have believed in vain it says for i delivered unto you first of all that which i also received how that yahweh died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that, he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this, unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me, also as one as one as of one born out of a due time it says for i am the least of the apostles that am not meet to be called an apostle because i persecuted the church of the most high so just showing you quickly that yahweh shai was seen all right of the men that believed in him and check it out you had men that seen him and saw this that he rose again and they still fell asleep man you know so that's something to think about man you know, Israel is hard-headed. I'm thinking about also in the time of the wilderness, all the miracles the Heavenly Father have done. And then what Jake do? They turn back to being a ninja, you know? 
So really, at the end of the day, this is all for what? The Lord's elect, man. You know, I was just sitting here thinking about when I read that earlier, I was thinking on, man, how Yahweh Shai, he started his ministry and knowing this truth that, you know, he, he was a very strong mental, mental he, had, he had a strong mentality, a strong mental mind. All right. And that's the mind we want to have. That's why the scriptures say put on your house shot, put on the elect, because I was I was just thinking about how he knew that eventually he was going to have to give his body as a living sacrifice for the chosen. Right. For the Israelites, but starting with the elect. And um, you got to think about it, man. You would be the same way. You know. You'll be on your mission and strictly about your business if you only had, you know, if you had that on your mind, you know, knowing that, you know, that's like being on death row, man, knowing that on this date, you got to go, you know, so you would be a serious minded man. And that's how we have to be in this wicked society, serious minded, you know, even you sisters, you got to be serious minded, man, you know, you got to be serious about this truth. It's not a game. You know, so it says of whom also he showed himself alive after the passion of many infallible proofs, being seen of them 40 days and speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of the most high. So he was given the brothers, you know, the uh, insight of the kingdom, <laughs> speaking of the things that we will have, man, because that's the things we look for. You know, we're in captivity. We're not in the kingdom yet. Our hope relies in the gospel, which is which is good news for us. Our hope relies in and it relies in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai to save us. You know, it's what we hope for. You know, what is faith? Matter of fact, let me go there real quick. Hebrews eleven and one. I just like to quote it real quick. Right, it's the book of Hebrews eleven and one. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, right? So in order to have the faith, we would have to be told these things so that we would have faith for, because we don't have, you know, faith is not nothing, all right? Faith is what? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, right? We needed something to hope for. Yahweh Shai promised us these things, and now it looked like that promise is about to be fulfilled. So it says, the evidence of things not seen because this if you hope for something you obviously can't see it that's why you're hoping all right but we have the evidence of the things not seen because the lord gave us that gift of faith right because remember faith is a gift so it says acts uh, one and four and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from jerusalem but wait for the promise of the father which say he ye have heard of me for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? You know, and it, you know, it's only right that they were asked because he, he rose, he rose. He came back, you know, from him being on the cross and dying, giving up the spirit, I should say, going back to the father. And so him being back and being as long he was with them for 40 days, you were asked too, is this is this is is we gonna have the kingdom now? Because you back. But it wasn't so, right? Because prophecy wasn't fulfilled. When you go back to Luke 21, the scriptures speak on um how all these things have to be fulfilled, and that's prophecy, right? And that shows you something in our father, our heavenly father, Yahweh, how time to him is nothing. You know, this was roughly what, 2,000 some odd years ago when Yahweh Shai walked the earth and he promised, he promised us. And now 2,000 years later, the Lord is coming through to fulfill that promise. You know, because why? Uh, we're in the flesh. The scriptures say that uh, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh says, uh, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was Yahweh Shai that said, I'm from, a, I'm from above. You're from beneath. Or was that the most high? If a brother could, Baba Kushar lead that precept. <laughs> All right, so let me continue. Verse 6. When they therefore would come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? 
right? And the kingdom of Israel is for the Israelites. Israel is a people before the place. He's not talking about the land. And any anybody that's in that land could claim themselves to be the Lord's people. No. The Lord's people is a people before there was a land. Jacob's name was, was changed to Israel, man. Get it through your thick dome. Understand the scriptures the right way. If you went to the Bible and that's your thing, you got a zeal. You got to know this truth. You got to see the scriptures for what it is, man. All right. So anyway, and that's if the Lord is dealing with you. Because obviously he has those that are blind. So it says, Acts 1 and 7. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times of the seasons or the seasons which the father have put in his own power. So he had to let them know. You know, it's not for you to know. Okay, scriptures also tell us that nor angel, you know, either nor nor do Yahweh Shai know the time that he will return. It's all in the Father's head. It's all in the Father's mind. It's according to the time of the Heavenly Father's will. So even Yahweh Shai don't know when he's going to return. But we can see it. Yahweh Shai warned us of the signs. You go back to Matthew's the first chapter. All right, when the disciples came up to him, asked him, when, when is the end of the world? You know, you think about Second Ezra six. When he asked, he had the the uh, he was speaking with the with the father, I think through the angel. He was speaking to the father, and he said, uh, uh, he asked the father, when 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 without when would we rule? He said, um, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So he was basically telling Ezra that you're up next when Edom go down. All right, he told him about going back all the way back to when they were born, because their births were born. Excuse me, their births, Jacob and Esau, is very important to understand because that's basically the movie. The movie is between those two, all right, and the changing of times, you know, as far as this end and for our kingdom to come in. He said Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. That was symbolic that Jacob was going to take Esau out of power. How is Jacob going to take Esau out of power? Through our Lord Yahweh Shai, all right, by the, by the Father sending forth the prophets to, to prophesize, you know, and then the, the brightness of his coming, right? Scriptures say, the, he said, I will destroy them with the spirit of my mouth. That's the prophets. And then he said, with the brightness of his coming, that's Yahweh Shai and the angels. So how, and, and remember, uh, Yahweh Shai is of Jacob, right? He was of the tribe of Judah. He was an Israelite, a Hebrew Israelite, right? So it says, uh, verse eight, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. <laughs> right? So, brothers going to receive, or let me say, brothers, that Lord, our Lord is going to activate that power and brothers. And it said, to the uttermost part of the earth, that's here in America. All right? Because we were scattered. So, right here in America, which is known as Babylon the Great, North America, with a heart and bulk of the Israelites are at even though we're scattered ab abroad around the earth but the bulk of the Israelites are here and even here brothers is going to receive those powers those powers are going to be activated in them all right certain certain brothers man right so it says and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and the cloud received them out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven he went up Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, You men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Yahawashai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. So, bam. All right. We know that now our Lord is coming back in the way that he left. This was the last time in the flesh that Yahweh Shai was in the earth, in the flesh, among his men. He was taken up into that chariot, and it says, and likewise, he will come back in that same manner. So we know our father is gonna send forth our big brother, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, right? He's gonna send back our, our Lord, our brother, right? In those ships to rescue us, man. All right? I think about uh, what come to mind, is um the slaves when we were slaves many years ago and they sung the song swing low sweet chariot coming forth to carry us home that old negro spiritual song 
You know, you can look it up if you don't know about it. If you're that young and you don't know about it. Negro spiritual songs. And one of them was um, uh, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, Coming Forth to Carry Us Home. They still sing this, I think, in the Baptist church. And they don't even know what they're singing. And the slaves would see what? Those chariots, you know? Coming over here to be indoctrinated through our gener through generation after generation. We got broken down, man. We got destroyed here, man. All right? We ain't completely get destroyed because obviously we still here. But we got destroyed from the knowledge, understanding, and wisdom of our father. All right? And from who we are as a people. You know? Now the Lord is, is giving it back to us. And that's why you see this great awakening. All right? So let me go ahead now. Like I said, it's going to be a quick lesson. Just wanted to touch on these three precepts. If our Lord, your house shall return it. Do this. This is Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so are men. Alright? Now this word well. It means to cut, strike, smite, to cut from, cut off, to beat one's breath for grief. So when Yahweh shall return, hey, the world is going to mourn. You're going to mourn. You're going to be in grief. You're going to be in sorrow. So you're going to have sorrowful. You're going to be vexed in your spirit to see Yahweh shall enter into our rim with the mighty angels. Because when he come, he said, scriptures say uh, the, the, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. He's not coming back. To make, uh, like we always say, not coming back to give a a, a, a cupcake to a mo and a transformer. He gonna destroy you. He gonna destroy this empire, this this whole infrastructure, right? He's gonna break it down. This place, Babylon the Great, is gonna be destroyed from off the face of the earth. So it's gonna be straight darkness, man. Confusion. They're not knowing who he is. Or, or, or they, only thing you're gonna know is that he's coming to destroy you. Well, I'm pretty sure, though, in the minds of Jake, they're going to know. And even um, the other nations, because when they see them, they're going to identify them as so-called, you know, black people. Right? Because all the angels are dark, you know, and melanin, they have that melanin, dark melanin. Right? Just like they have um, certain um, cases where military run into angels. I remember one of the videos brothers posted back a while back. Uh, one guy was explaining how the Navy... It was a chariot that came in a cigar shape and landed on one of the Navy um, ships or whatever you call the shit, one of the big ships. And they all got out and they all had, he said they all were basically black. They were like men that never lost a war, you know, and they stood across in line like they were warriors. Those are angels, man. All right. And you're going to be a shock. You know, I think about Wisdom of Solomon. What is that? The fifth chapter. So far beyond all that they look for. You know, they don't look for our salvation to come this way, but it is. You can laugh, you can scoff, you can mock, you can do all the things that you, you think. You know, you can think it's a joke, but it's not a joke. And you're going to know it's not a joke when the shit hit the fan. So it says, behold, he cometh with clouds, and that clouds represents chariots. All right? The, 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 hey, Yahweh Shah is coming back in one gigantic chariot. Hey, that's how you know. He ain't coming back grouped up. <laughs> And one chariot, he's coming back in his own huge chariot. And we know it's huge because of Edra's vision. He said he thought it was like a mountain. And then you got the other chariots, which are the angels riding. So basically, every angel riding in their own shit, man, to the battle. You know? Because it's going to be so many chariots. He said with clouds, it's going to be, they're going to fill the skies, man. So that every eye is going to see him. And you're going to know that's the Lord. You're not going to say alien. Some fools may say that and then they're going to be destroyed. But those that have a mind to see, or let me say those that have, those that are going to come to grips, because you're going to come to grips in that day. And you're going to say, that's the Lord, man. That is the Lord because of that holiness, that glory that he's coming back in. You know, you ain't going to say alien, man. <laughs> you know, maybe a, maybe a kid would be dumb and ignorant, but an adult. You're going to say that's the Lord. You're going to know that it's the Lord. The Most High is going to make you know that it's him. Right? Him sending back his son. So it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And 
they shall all it says that they also which pierced him, which proven reincarnation. The same men that were back then that pierced Yahweh Shai, they back here today. And Yahweh Shai, he has a bone to pick with them because they pierced his side. So that's why it's written that they won't see him too. Right? It says, And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. He says, verse 8, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. Thus saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. All right, Al-Asijah. So, let me get one more. Oh, let's go into the scripture and I'll close with this one. This is actually um, the one I started off the lesson with, right? This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the Most High. And the dead in Yahweh shall rise first. And that shout is going to be heard. All right. Uh, what's that? Is that Revelations 11? Let me see if I can grab that real quick. Yeah, this is Revelations 11 and 11. And after three days and a half. The spirit of life from the most high entered into them and they stood upon their feet when great fear fell upon them which saw them and they heard a great voice from heaven saying come unto them saying come uh, saying unto them come up hither and they shall ascend up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them you see so that's why it's important to grab precept upon precept right here in the book of Revelations is a preset to 1 Thessalonians. Was that first? Yep, to 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16 and 17. So it says, And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up into heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And we know that this haven't happened yet, so this is prophecy. It says, In the same hour there was a great earthquake, which that earthquake is going to be the thermonuclear destruction. Right? And it says the 10th part of the city fell, which if you go into, uh, you know, brothers went over this, apostles went over this years ago. Um, you know that this place, America, North America, is broken down into 10 parts. You can actually look up FEMA. And what FEMA did was that they broke down America into 10 parts. Right? And it says, and the same hour was there a great earthquake and the 10th part of the city fell. And the earthquakes were slain of men, 7,000, and the remnant were afraid of, and gave glory to the Most High of Heaven. It says, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. All right, because that woe represents World War Three, or uh, World War, which you had the first war, you had the second World War, and now you have the third war that's coming now. And you see this all through your news. All right. So there you go, right? Uh, let's go back to 1 Thessalonians 4 and 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, right? Being caught up, those that are still alive, the brothers, the sisters, the children, that's of the elect. You're going to be brought up into the ship. It says, to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord so to meet the Lord in the air meaning more than likely I remember I think Apostle Har might have said this before too he mentioned before how we might just all be taken up into one ship because this scripture said we're going to meet the Lord in the air alright you might be taken up into Yahweh Shah ship you know all the elect I don't know how the Lord is going to do it but it's going to be done at the end of the day it's going to be beautiful Yapa. All right, it says, uh, verse 18, wherefore comfort one another with these words, man. You know, so comfort each other with these words and remember that Yahweh Shai is on his way. So, with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elders here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.